we have a busy day planned for today. We need to first pick up our produce bins uh, where we collect three and a half thousand litres of food scraps a week from a supermarket. And that includes fruit and veg and all that sort of stuff and bread as well if we're lucky, or if the pigs are lucky. Um, and then we need to feed all the animals the food scraps. We want to muck out the pig pen because definitely Rosie is pregnant. We're not 100% sure about Millie, um, but Rosie is looking very pregnant. And if Hank did his job as soon as he moved in, he should be due, she should be due two days ago. <laughs> or, you know, we did see them do their thing a couple of days after he moved in, so he, she should be due today onwards. Um, but there's a high possibility that she's not due until next month um, if he didn't quite settle in properly when he first arrived. But her um, nipples are getting huge and she's looking very round. So she's definitely got piglets in there. It's just a guessing game when they're going to arrive. So we want to clean out the pig sheds and spread all that lovely hay and goodness onto the garden that they were digging up for me a couple of weeks ago. We moved them to the pig sheds just because we wanted them to be able to nest when they were ready to have their babies. So um, yeah, we wanted them to settle in. It's a nice warm area for them for when the babies are born because it is starting to cool down here. Um, and then I need to plant a cover crop of peas over that veggie patch so it doesn't get inundated with weeds because I do want to use that um, garden next spring. So I want to rest it over um, winter and hopefully the cover crop will impart some nitrogen, some organic matter and all that sort of jazz. And if I'm really lucky and we have lots of time left, hopefully, 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 we can put up our hot house so I can start sowing seeds in there um, to use throughout winter, but also to get seeds ready for spring. On our way home, we may have stopped into the tip shop and I may have found a potting table for my greenhouse. I got that with a chicken feeder, a heap of pots, and some piping, all for $20, which I thought was really, really good. Yay! We were actually gonna build one of these. This one's out of metal. It's got this latticed wood stuff on top, which will replace with the mesh, but it's all made out of metal. So um, I thought it was a really good find. Paul took off the wooden lattice on my potting table and screwed down this mesh. So it'll be a nice surface to put up my plants, sow my seeds. We're going to move these two bins, they're potato bins and the compost bin. And we're going to put the plastic over the greenhouse, probably not today because we're running out of time. And then we'll put the potting table right in front of here. Emptying out the bins for the chickens and the ducks and the geese and the guineas. This is Rosie and I'm pretty sure Rosie is pregnant but I'm not a hundred percent sure and I really don't know what to look for so all you pig experts especially you homesteading the hard way can you tell us she's preggers let's her from behind My sound didn't record, I'm sorry, but this is Millie and while we did see Hank service Millie, I'm not 100% sure she's pregnant at all. Um, if she is, she's probably quite early on in her pregnancy. Um, but yeah, I can't tell if she is actually pregnant or not, which is hard because I would like to keep running Hank with her if she isn't pregnant. Um, yeah, but it's hard to see and we're a first time pig parents, so we really have no idea. So we did get a chance to unload it on the new veggie patch. This one over here, 
but we'll do it tomorrow and hopefully we can get the hot house up tomorrow as well. We had intended to collect some more wood tomorrow, but we don't think that's going to happen. We've got lots on the to-do list and not enough time. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow.